Hey loves, so welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a nighttime routine with my newborn. It is an updated routine because I no longer have just my toddler. He's here now. So I start off my night um, with his final nap. So that's what you see here. He's taking his final nap and I'm gonna prepare my toddler's bath. Where's a life I Where's my shy head? Is this called living? I don't know, I don't know Where's the life I Where's my shy head? Is this called living? I don't know, I don't know I don't wanna grow up Just live myself We normally have dinner about an hour before I start the nighttime routine. So after I'm done with her hair, I go ahead and give her a snack, which is her final snack of the evening, as well as her final cup of juice. You have things? Yes. Chips and what else? Yeah. Juice. I pretty much have a time now to where he starts to wake up once I'm done with her nighttime routine. So I get him out the swing and I just kind of rock him and play with him um, a bit before I do his diaper change and then we do a little bit of play time.
once tummy time is over, I go ahead and get his bath ready. I do bathe him in the sink because um, it's easier on my back right now. But I put the bather in the sink and then I make sure it's warm enough before I bring him over and set him in it. And then we begin our bath routine. The beginning he's always upset because you know he's cold but I always put a towel over his body um, a warm towel and I keep putting warm water all over him during the whole entire bath and it keeps him more content you'll see in a second he calms down um, and starts to enjoy his bath and then he also gives me a little surprise as you'll see in a second This is a real nighttime routine, nothing planned and stuff like this does happen um, with newborn. So you can expect accidents, but I did go ahead and clean him up. I do wash his private areas. I didn't do that on camera because I didn't want to show any of that. Um, but I'll also um, comb his hair out in the bath a bit because of dry skin and like cradle cap. So you'll see that also. Once I take him out the tub, I go ahead and get him on a fresh diaper and I also moisturize and massage his skin. This part is essential because this relaxes the baby before it's time for the baby to go to sleep. Um, so I use Vaseline and I also use a Johnson's um, aloe vera lotion. It smells so good um, and normally he loves this part. He's just so relaxed when I do this. Um, so I cannot skip this step and I also have to take my time with this step.
I normally put him on a sleeper, um, the one that has the mittens attached. And I also do the one that has the double zipper because that's very easy for diaper changes at nighttime. I'm not sure how true this is but my mom always told me to make sure I keep a hat on babies because it helps with colic and also fussiness so I always finish off with a hat and then I go ahead and begin to rock him and then I'm going to go ahead and get his bottle ready. He's now drinking four ounces every around, I'll say three to three and a half hours. So I'll go ahead and prepare the four ounce bottle. I also prepare all the rest of the bottles I'll need throughout the nighttime. Um, and I did not record that part, but I normally do that every single night. Sometimes I feed them just on my bare lap and a lot of times I incorporate the boppy because it helps with my back um, and here it is I'm showing me feeding him with the boppy and I let him finish off this bottle and then I go ahead and burp him. Once he's all done burping and eating, this is my favorite, favorite part. I rock him to sleep and I just love the time to cuddle with him, just me and him. Um, my daughter is off to sleep on the side of us. Once I'm done with him, I go ahead and put her in her bed. Um, but yeah, I just enjoy this time with me and him. Sometimes I'll pick a show to watch or watch YouTube um, until I'm all done putting him to sleep. I did remove his hat because he loves his head and hair rubbed um, while being put to sleep and I also removed his bib because I never put him to bed with a bib on. Um, 
um, by this point in the routine, I'm normally exhausted. <laughs> That's why you see me yawning a lot. Um, pretty soon he's going to fall asleep and then I'm going to get my um, little three hour nap in. down in his bed and then he normally starts to move around and wake up a little bit but I always shush him and make sure his pacifier stays in and he tends to go right back to sleep um, once I cut the light off he does wake up <laughs> you'll see in the next clip but I was able to quickly put him back to sleep and um, end our night so I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video don't forget to subscribe hit the bell to get all my notifications and you can comment on my community tab on my channel you'll see a screenshot of this video Bye.